standard 7th maths lesson number 4 angles and pairs of angles children in previous video we have studied about interior and exterior of an angle and we have completed practice set 15 today in this video will complete practice set 16 and will study new concept that is complementary angles now what is complementary angles see if you will draw any right angle like this suppose this is PQR is a right angle and in the interior of this right angle if you will take any point and if you will draw ray through the vertex and that point which is there in the interior of that right angle you will get two adjacent angles right we have studied about adjacent angles in previous video so in this way you will get two adjacent angles and these two adjacent angles whatever measure will be there of first and second these two angles if you will add it you will get sum of measures of both the angles is 90 degree isn't it so this pair is called as pair of complementary angles see children here it is written in bold letters if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree they are known as complementary angles. Now see children, to get the pair of complementary angles, it is not mandatory that angles should be adjacent. Okay, now you know very well that what is adjacent angles. That in one figure only you have divided this right angle and then you are getting this angle. It is not compulsory. If Two separate angles are given then also and if their measures, sum of their measures is 90 degree then also those two angles are called as complementary angles. Now look at this example. Observe the angles in the figure and enter the proper number in the box. See first angle is angle ABC which is 40 degree. And second angle is angle PQR which is 50 degree. So as I told you it is not compulsory that both the angles should be adjacent angles. Means it of angle ABC. Major angle ABC is 40 degree right. It is 40 degree. And major angle PQR is 50 degree. Then major angle ABC plus major angle PQR is equal to how much? 90 degree. Is it? So, the sum of measures of angle ABC and angle PQR is 90 degree. Therefore, they are complementary angles. Now, look at these solved examples. First one is find the measures, measure of complement of an angle of measure 70 degree. Means we, we have to find out another angle. So that we will get 90 degree measure and this pair will become complementary angles. So first you have to consider that another angles measure. Suppose it is X. So as per the definition of complementary angles. 70 plus X is how much? 90. So after calculation you will get value of x that is 20 degree. Therefore the measure of the complement of an angle of measure 70 degree is 20 degree. Another example is angles of measures a plus 15 degree and 2a degree are complementary. What is the measure of each angle? Now we have to find out measure of this angle and this angle both the angles so as per the definition if this is complementary pair of angles then sum of 
both measures of both the angles should be 90 degrees. So we will add this a plus 15 plus 2a is equal to 90 degree. Now this a plus 2a is 3a plus 15. So this 15 will subtract from 90. Okay. Then we will get 3a is equal to 75. Then this 3 is here for multiplication. It will go for division. So we will get here a is equal to 25. Therefore now we have value of a that is 25. Now we will substitute this value in this. So we will get a plus 15 is equal to a is what 25. So 25 plus 15 is equal to 40 degree and 2a measure of another angle is 2a. So 2a is equal to 2 into 25 that is 50 degree and you can cross check your answer like this is 40 and 50. So total is 90. So your answer is correct. Now we will begin with practice set 16. How to solve this sum in your notebook? I will show you now. First question. The measure of some angles are given below. Write the measures of their complementary angles. First one is 40 degree. Now children while solving these sums. First of all you have to write definition of complementary angles. Every time you write that definition, so you will get more practice and it will help you to understand concept also. So first of all, here we will write definition. See children, we have written definition of complementary angles. That is if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree, they are known as complementary angles. This definition is already given in your textbook, page number 25, okay? In your textbook on page number 25, this definition is already given. You have to learn it and every time you make habit of writing this definition before solving the sum. Now for, uh, we have to consider complementary angle of this 40 degree angle is X. So we will write that sentence here. See we have to write it like this. Let the measure of the complementary angle of 40 degree be x degree. Instead of x you can use any letter. Okay. Then below this. Therefore 40 plus x is equal to how much? 90. Right. Therefore x is equal to. 90 minus 40 therefore x is equal to 50 degree right put it in box after com completing calculation up to this last sentence is very important that is the complementary angle of 40 degree is 50 degree ok next is 63 degree as I told you first of all you have to write down definition if the sum of the measures of two angles is 90 degree they are known as complementary angles next step is let the measure of the complementary angle of 63 degree be x degree therefore now 63 plus x is equal to 90. Therefore x is equal to 90 minus 63 that is 27 degree. Therefore the complementary angle of 63 degree is 27 degree. Children follow the same pattern and solve third, fourth and fifth sum in your notebook. Now we'll discuss sixth one that is 90 degree now already 90 degree is given see how to solve this sum first of all you have to write definition then let the measure of the complementary angle of 90 degree be x degree therefore 90 plus x is equal to 90 
therefore x is equal to 90 minus 90 that is 0 okay and then write final sentence therefore the complementary angle of 90 degree is 0 degree next seventh one is x degree now see children here letter is given there is no number but still we have to solve this sum by following same pattern first of all write definition and then let the measure of the complementary angle of x degree now already x is given here in previous examples we were considering x as that answer one okay answer angle okay which we have to find out but here x is given so we will consider another letter that is y degree so x plus y is equal to 90 degree therefore y is equal to 90 minus x and this is final answer therefore the complementary angle of x degree is equal to 90 minus x degree now let's move to next question question number 2 y minus 20 y minus 20 degree and y plus 20 degree are the measures of complementary angles find the measure of each angle now these are measures of complementary angles this is similar example like solved example number 2 we have already discussed solved example which is given just above practice set 16 same way you have to solve this example ok first of all we will write y minus 20 plus y plus 30 is equal to 90 degree because it is given in question that this is pair of complementary angles see children first step is we will write it and then in bracket we will write reason ok why sum is 90 degree because these are complementary angles now in next step we will write this out of the bracket ok that is y minus 20 plus y plus 30 is equal to 90 ok so this 2y here it will come 2y because y plus y will become 2y and minus 20 plus 30 will become plus 10 which is equal to 90 then therefore 2y is equal to 90 minus 10 therefore 2y is equal to 80 therefore y is equal to 80 divided by 2 therefore y is equal to 40 now we will substitute this value in the given measures so first measure is y minus 20 degree therefore y minus 20 degree is equal to 40 minus 20 that is 20 degree so first angles measurement is 20 degree and second angle which is given is y plus 30 uh, y plus 30 degree so 40 plus 30 is 70 degree therefore the measures of the angles are 20 degree and 70 degree respectively children in this way we have completed practice set 16